Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we are doing the Weekly Drive and yes, voted by you the viewer, we have the Mercedes-Benz Actros MP4 Flatbed. Now this week for the Mercedes week, it was not too bad really, the um, as soon as I put the flatbed in as the last sort of entry, it um, sort of killed everything else. Uh, but the runners-up was the Mercedes-Benz 1519 slash 1525, which that had uh, seven votes. The Axor was in there as well. Unfortunately, didn't get anybody vote for that one. Uh, and then there was the Mercedes-Benz Actros. Uh, that had one vote. So a clear winner by 11 was the Mercedes-Benz uh, Actros MP4 flatbed, which is what we have here today. Now we'll have a quick look around it. Uh, if you want to have a more detailed look, then you can have a look at the um, at the actual sneak peek, and that will tell you more information. Now uh, I was contacted and told that there has been some updates, and yes, there has. This is the version three that we have today, and look, there's a lot of things that have been changed. You can see that there's no uh, flickering bits well it's not yeah it's still there sorry um, they fixed the engine the engine has not been stolen so it's there now it's we're not running on love anymore we're running on a proper Mercedes engine so uh, one thing uh, that I did want to do which I did forget and I'll see if I can do it on the way out which so we'll start moving now is I wanted to change the engine so that we can have a look at the custom engines in here because I was corrected and there was some engines with this one so let me let me see if I can just get this out without scratching anything alright that was nice all good now just pass these cars now I hate getting out of here this is a terrible terrible place to get out of but with this this trailer here, it shouldn't be a problem. It's only when when you get the boabab tree or something like that that you really, really have trouble getting out of. Right, so clear that way, clear that way. Whoops, I didn't flick it around. Uh, just going over to the service center and we'll quickly take a look there. Whoops. Oh, what I do there? Grindies. Oh, well. Um, that is a bus stop there, so that's not what we want. Right. Just turning here. Now, I really do like driving this around. I think it's actually really good, and... I know that this was one that I threw in myself and it's meant to be uh, everyone voting and telling me what they want to see but I had to throw this one in because just look at it look at it from the outside it's really nice it's interesting it's something different you know it's not the same so that's why I thought it'd be definitely worth a weekly drive and I'm glad that you guys did choose this for the weekly drive Right, now I'll just go around here and the service centre should be just over there. Now, um, a lot of people did actually comment on how much they enjoyed the, um, the fortnightly convoy that we had on the weekend. I'm really glad that you did enjoy it. Uh, that was a, a special sort of link up we had with uh, a friend of mine, Charlie Brown, AU. Uh, and it was his birthday, so I thought, <clears throat> what uh, he actually was uh, ha organised for a convoy. So I thought, what better way to help him celebrate than to join ours with his and make it one big convoy. Now, it was a lot longer than our normal convoys, and we did lose a few people on that. But that's, um, you know, terribly sorry, guys, but that's how the cookie rolls. Especially when you drop it out of the tin, anyway. It's cookie crumbles. Yeah, but I said cookie rolls, so that's how I roll. Um, 
let's quickly go in here and we will have a quick look <coughs> at the engines got a bit of a frog in my throat today uh, upgrade and engines 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 no to see they're all the same ones aren't they that must that must be thinking of another truck sorry about that guys seniors losing the plot anyway we'll continue on with the drive shall we uh, I don't know which truck was it I must be thinking of a different truck but anyway no problem that's right this one had the engine that was missing the other one had the um, there was another one that had the, the engine that was a bit dodgy so anyway I got them mixed up not a problem uh, we're just gonna go because otherwise we'll be here all day and they'll wait because the AI will wait and turning down here now this week has been quite a busy week for SCS um, they have been doing a lot of stuff now first of all uh, they have uh, sent out well they've put on the the blog that they've got um, some brand new pictures for American Truck Simulator and if you're following it like I am which I am absolutely dying to get my hands on any form of copy uh, to do with uh, American Truck Simulator. Now, uh, I have heard a little rumor, now this is not fact, it is a rumor, that they are closed beta testing now. So, that means that open beta testing or selected beta testing should be just around the corner. So, that will be really, really cool. Um, whether or not I can get my hands on a copy that's a different story or not you know um, so we just have to wait and see what happens there because as soon as I get a copy you know I'm gonna be showing it off to you guys to show you exactly what's in there you know because um, that's what I do and you know I'm gonna be uh, that's why I think you know where squirrels in this closed beta test and stuff like that he'll he probably keeps his mouth shut I don't know if I could, <laughs> to be honest. I think I'd have to sign some sort of thing to say that I would keep my mouth shut or something. I don't know. But um, it'd be pretty hard, especially for something like American Truck Simulator. It'd be very hard indeed. But um, we'll see how we go with that. I mean, hoping that they bring something out soon. Now, uh, another thing that they've been very, very busy with this week is... Um, Euro Truck Simulator. Now they have released a beta for patch 1.1.20. Uh, I was going to say 1.10, but we're out of the ones now. We're into twos. So um, it's 1.2 is the new patch, and that is looking pretty interesting. I mean, they've got a fair few things in there that are um, that are going to make it that extra special because the game itself is getting better and better every time they add a patch it's better and better so I mean this time they have got some really nice things and um, well, there's three major things that they're actually doing with it apart from their usual fixes like there's a whole heap of truck fixes and uh, things like that that they're fixing up but you know they've got I've got a list here right here of a whole heap of things now uh, first one is that they have now where are we going we're going over here so I need to get in this lane before I start reading uh, first of all they have lots of minor fixes yes we I've just said that now the three major fixes are GPS route customization now this is what's going to be really really interesting I think this is this is something that is definitely going to make the game so much better now especially when multiplayer comes out with this because it's going to make my life so much easier because I am I spend a lot of time organizing um, for a, uh, the, the fortnightly uh, convoy and um, it takes me a long time with actually configuring and setup and that sort of thing. So, 
um, this with the actual route, you know, so picking the load up, making sure I've got the right load to go to the right place, that sort of thing. So this will actually make it so it's a little bit easier for me. So I can actually select where I want to pick up the load, select where I want to meet up, and then set it off to the next destination. And that will be a lot easier for me. So uh, that's one thing that's going to uh, allow it to be a lot easier uh, when it comes out on multiplayer, which I'm hoping it's only going to be like, uh, you know, a couple of weeks after the beat is actually after it's been released so um, we'll wait and see for that come on where's that 12th there it is gonna overtake this guy he's going a little bit whoa that that car's flying up he was and so is he so that's nice thank you very much now let's overtake safely and um, there we go, nice and safe. I uh, would like to, I think I'd like to jump in that lane. I like that lane better. I still haven't fixed my steering wheel up. I was going to fix my steering wheel up so it has the 900 axis on it, but I haven't done that yet. I really need to fix that. And is that turning? Looks like it's turning up there. Let's put that cruise control on. It is. Quickly jump over here. Um, right now let's have a look at the next point that I've written down so uh, you can create your own route so they did a demonstration uh, where you could there was two cities right next to each other had a load to go and on the demonstration it actually went all over Europe so 10 points used all over Europe so that's another thing there's 10 custom waypoints that you can actually use watch out for these idiots who knows why they're stopping on the side of the road um, so that is, you can travel, say, if you wanted to go from London to uh, Felixstowe to uh, Paris. Um, you know, you could just go pinpoint, 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 pinpoint. And it would take you there. You could do a, a really good tour. So that's something that's really good. And I hope they uh, put that into American Truck Simulator. That's gonna, That would actually make it really good as well. So... Um, now there's you can insert insert the waypoint into existing routes as well as create your own route and you can also um, whoa, whoa, whoa I gotta watch the road here uh, you can also uh, interactively move so click on a point and and I haven't had a play with this but it looks like you can click on a point and drag it okay so um, that's one thing as well so I'm not sure if I mentioned this but I'm still on patch 1.19 uh, for this weekly drive but after this weekly drive I'm going to try and go to, to the actual uh, open beta for 1.2 uh, reason being that this mod would not work in uh, patch uh, 1.1 uh, sorry 1.2 so um, I had to step it back but uh, anyway that's no big deal we'll see how we go with other mods uh, it looks like that a lot of people are going to have to upgrade their trucks uh, to be used in the new patch. So that's going to be really interesting and I think a lot of mods are going to... Oh crap, we need to get over here. I think a lot of mods are going to have... It's going to be a while before we can use our favourite mods with this patch. So, um, we just have to be patient, I think. Right. There we go. Wait for this guy. Um, what else? Um, let's get moving first. So, it is really going to be interesting when they actually, you know, bring it out and release it because all these mods are just going to go crazy trying to update for the um, for the new patch because especially multiplayer they're going to be uh, hopefully they're going to be all over it because uh, the, some of the new features in multiplayer are just going to make it really 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 good and um, it's going to be a lot of fun so let's see we need to get up to 
let's increase that speed I'm just gonna sit on 31 oh we got a thing here anyway so we got turning Right. How many ton is this car? The car and trailer. Let's see. So flatbed trailer is four tons. Feels a lot heavier than four tons. It really does. Oh, I didn't actually show where we were going going today. Silly me. Um, we are going from Hanover, and we're going all the way down to uh, Leip Leipzig, Leipzig, whatever it is. Anyway, so yeah, we're Hanover to Leipzig is where we're off to today. I did that last week as well. Forgot to tell you where we were going. It's really bad. I need to tell you at the start so you know where we're going. But I think in the it'll say it in the title anyway. So, um. We are increasing speed here. Why are we going so fast? Downhill, maybe? Possibly. Let's put cruise control on there. Now, a bit of a windy area, so I'm going to have to read and drive at the same time. So, we've um, got the 10 waypoints. So insert waypoints in existing route. You can also interactively move. Uh, add waypoints at end as well. So, if you want to change the actual end, you can actually, you know, move the waypoint around so you don't actually finish exactly in the point that you meant to finish. So that's good. Uh, that was a, something I, I wouldn't have expected. Uh, I would have thought that it would have just been your start points the same, your finish points the same, you can interact with anything else in the middle. But no, they, you're allowed to change the actual uh, finish point as well. So that's interesting. Wonder how that's going to go with your load. So if it'll allow you to drop the load off at that point as well. That would be interesting. That'll really help Junior out, considering he just dumps his load anywhere. Uh, now, let's see. The next uh, major update is geographically correct sun. So one of the things that um, you will notice with the, the latest expansion, the Scandinavian uh, DLC, is that the sun has changed, and it's not the same now. Um, the, what they've done is they've corrected that, because realizing that that has that update has changed the whole game uh, the way that the Sun moves around they've now made it so they're trying to make it so that different areas the Sun is going to be at a different height a different position and the light will look different now that is interesting now it's going to look more like real uh, more like you know reality than anything um, another thing which I thought was very very interesting is Anybody who has who can access the code, which is pretty simple, um, can actually make a mod to change it anywhere in the world. So, if, for example, it was in Australia, you had the Australian map, you can go into the code and change the sunlight. When you're in this map, part of the map, it will change to be exactly like Australia. Or if you're in um, Alaska somebody did an Alaskan mod for example they could change the Sun to be exactly the same as what it is in Alaska that's the kind of code that they've put in there which is really really smart and I really do uh, like the way that they uh, they've got such you know smart coders that they can do that there that's really good um, now another major update in the game is image spotlight now what this is is basically all your images that you send to world of trucks uh, will be they get looked at by an editor and then they get a star rating and what's you know this that and everything you know that sort of thing I've, I've not had one of my own done uh, so obviously none of mine are good enough but um, what they will now do is they will feature those what the editor picks in the actual image loading screen so the loading screen will come up with uh, a logo that says world of trucks and then it has an image and anyone that says World of Trucks, you know that that is from the World of Trucks website. That's an actual person's, um, that's their actual picture that they've taken. 
Now, of course, they're going to, you know, have things that in there that they that they won't be able to add. So, for example, uh, you can't have if they don't have the rights for say Mac, then they can't put Mac in there. Um, if they don't they don't have the rights for say McDonald's, they can't put a picture of McDonald's if it's got McDonald's in there or anything like that. So um, they really have to be careful and selective as to what they can put. But if they've actually got that, um, the rights, and there's that crappy music meaning we're running late. Um, if they've got the rights for it and you've taken a wonderful, beautiful picture and it, it matches their dimensions, etc., it will be used. Well, in the, and if it's nice, it'll be uh, up for selection. And then if the editor says it's good enough, it will be used. So. There we go. That's something for everyone to aim for. And I think what everyone's going to have to try and do is think about, think like a photographer um, if you want it to get in there. So, um, for example, with this, with taking a photo for this, more area of view is better. So if, and now we need to take a photo as well, and I'm just about to go up here and take a photo. And I'll show you what I mean in the actual, in the photo. Right, okay, so just up here, right, change gear and everyone, everyone else can wait for us. Now, in the photo mode. Now, uh, what the hell? Where the hell are we? Looks like we're in a wheel or something. I don't know. Let's see if we can get out of there. Oh yeah, we're in the trailer. Okay. Um, so look, uh, if you take a photo like this, up close like this, um, that's not going to be good. They won't, they won't accept that because it's too close. So if you took a photo more along the lines of, say, that there, see how you've got the triangle there? That triangle is a good guide to what they're going to use. But that gives more of a sort of a view as, you know, sort of more of a, a better aspect for them to chop it up and, and use it. So that one there might be something that they might choose. Um, so it, it all depends on what you're actually going to, um, how they're going to, you know, how they're going to select it. But that one there I reckon would be a good one uh, because of the actual, the angles. That one there is good for YouTube. And well, actually, let's try this over here because I love taking photos. You guys probably get sick of me taking so many photos. There we go. That's a nice one. Even though the post, there's a post in the road there. And that one there. But anyway, so yeah, the, the idea is to take a shot that's a little bit further away so give them something to play with. And a high definition one too is what they like. So it has to be a high quality, can't be, you know, uh, low quality. So, uh, back to the actual drive. Ah, it's, it dropped out of um, cruise control. Oh, no, I didn't have it in cruise control, that's why. Uh-huh. Uh, let's get that up to speed. And cruise control it is. There we go. Now, uh, whoa, bus coming. Bus coming, we nearly hit the bus. So, uh, yeah, that, so that's, um, so, on load, so image on load screen. Uh, oh yes, now, uh, for those of you who don't, who use this game offline and don't actually always use uh, Euro Trucks um, online, like I, I have it connected to the internet all the time, you can actually switch off the uh, image spotlight so it'll ask you at the very start would you like to turn on image spotlight and then all you have to say is yes and then it will automatically turn it on now whether this happens all the time I don't know uh, it might just be something that um, you can flick on in the actual settings which would probably be a better idea uh, to have it uh, you know flick on so initially it might come up and say would you like to have spotlight and you say yes and then it, it activates it in the options possibly or it would actually say uh, that every time now that to me would be annoying so I still think the option thing would be better to check the option 
or initially it says yes would you like it to have spotlight yes I would then it goes and checks it in the in the settings something like that but anyway we'll see uh, we will have a look at it at, a, at another time but at this time we're just doing the weekly drive and taking it from there so but that is this is going to be something that's really really awesome I think um, with this actual this new patch so uh, can't wait to dive in there and check it out which I'll probably be doing after I do this yeah um, so look how far away we're not that far away because I did see the actual um, the target before but we look like we are so it says we're sort of running through a slow period here um, says we are what 40 minutes away 39 minutes away so that's not too far it's roughly about what five minutes or so I think let's just have a look on the map yeah see we're just around the corner so not too far at all there we go right so yeah so this week has been a really interesting week for um, for SCS a lot of lot of good things they they just continually keep improving on the game and that's what makes it so such an awesome game to play and that's what you really like you know that's what i really like anyway is <sighs> yes i'm tired um i like that the uh, a good game that has a co good community base like euro trucks and i love it how they keep updating everything and that's, you know, that's really cool. That makes a really good game, that does. Um, sure, you know, you buy an official DLC and all that, but you don't have to, to play the game. So that's good as well. Uh, there are still a lot of people out there who still play vanilla. And, um, I mean, good on you. I mean, if that's what you want to do. But uh, me, I like to have... I like to have as much as I can. <laughs> get all, as many options as I can. I like to have all the toys. Alright, so I just want to slow down a bit because I'm speeding. Alright, there we go. Set that cruise control in. Oh dear, I'm tired. Um, there we go. There's the uh, finish line there. Now, um, this week, also on 18 Wheels of Steel, we've been doing the, um, it, well, what is it? It is going from Vancouver to Miami, Florida. And uh, we're up to episode 5, and uh, I'll put up another episode very soon, and we'll uh, see how we're going along. But, geez, I've been having a lot of trouble with police. Um, all sorts of issues on there, so it's, um, it's definitely an interesting series. But uh, I know a lot of people are enjoying it, so I'm glad. I'm glad. But um, I have been asked, will I be getting into mods? Uh, no, I will not. I'll not be getting into mods with that because with... Um, with uh, As soon as American Truck Simulator gets here, guys, I think, to be honest, I'll be dropping that one. And American Truck Simulator will be taking over that. I know a lot of you like it, but... Um, I think American Truck Simulator is going to take up a lot of my time. So uh, we just have to wait and see what happens there. But uh, I think American Truck will take its place. That's what I originally said when... Um, oh, I'm tired. That's what I originally said when I first started doing it. That uh, if the only, re only thing that's going to take over it is American Trucks. American Truck Simulator. So... There we go. This shouldn't be too hard getting it in. It is a smaller trailer, so I have trouble with the smaller trailers rather than the bigger trailers. But that's it. That's in there. And T, there we go. Are we late? Yes, we're late. Oh, my goodness. That's because I was dilly-dallying around. That's why. Two minutes late penalty for two minutes with two minutes late serious oh what that's a crock of crap that is serious that's terrible anyway but that's fine 
That's the that's the way the game is, and what can you do? Nothing. Can't do anything about it. But look, guys, this is pretty much the that is the weekly drive for this week. This is the uh, Mercedes week. This finalizes the Mercedes week, and the winner for this week by you, voted by you, was the Mercedes-Benz Actros MP4 flatbed. And congratulations to the actual modder who made this because that's a very good mod voted by the public it's very good they like it so uh especially with the trailer that's a very good job we i didn't actually show the trailer too much but um we did see it in the sneak peek as uh, there but you can see that uh, it's got the you know this car that's on there but we had a look in that in the sneak peek so look check out the sneak peek if you didn't see it it's definitely worth a look but guys, look, that is pretty much it from me. Look, thank you very much for watching. Look, if you like this, uh, if you like this uh, video, then make sure to share it and give us a thumbs up as well. And uh, look, uh, look, sharing is caring. Uh, share it with the mum, share it with the dad, share it with the sister, share it with anyone. It doesn't bother me. Just, just share it. Uh, and that's so. That's pretty much it. Look, keep the shiny side on the greasy side down, and I'm ten ten on the side. And remember, game on. Thanks for watching YouTubers, if you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here we take a look at the Mercedes-Benz 1519-1525 for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Just down there we take a look at 18 wheels of steel American long haul from where we go from Vancouver to Miami. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. If you like this video, then don't forget to share. Thanks again for watching YouTubers, and remember, Game on!